Welcome, Michael. Thank you. As a marketing manager at On Semiconductor, you are the right partner to talk about imaging sensor. What is your newest innovation here at the Vision Show and why should visitors come to your booth? We're very excited at On Semiconductor to be able to provide a full portfolio of both CCD and CMOS image sensors. We're the only major manufacturer who now has this broad portfolio of devices that really cover all these different applications inside industrial imaging and in machine vision. Uh, here in uh, the Vision Show, we're showing a number of different uh, advances in our full portfolio. Our, our Python family of image sensors is now being widely adopted across the industry and around the show floor as you walk. You can see a number of cameras that are based on that. Our newest uh, image sensor in that family, the Python 480, brings that high level of performance down to a very small form factor and makes it available at a, a very low uh, cost. Um, on the CCD side, we have uh, exciting new advances in uh, interline transfer EMC CD technology that oh, allows yeah. very low light detection that ranges all the way up to visible light. So one camera is able to adapt dynamically and capture both low light and high light, uh, bright light images all at the same time. Um, it's, it's very important for us as an image sensor supplier to look broadly across the entire portfolio and not be focused on one particular technology over another. We want to make sure that we're supplying the right parts for each of our customers to give them the opportunity to make the best decision to find the solution that's going to best meet their application. Wonderful. Sounds Thank great. Um, our semiconductor conducts a stable partnership with Framers. Why customers benefit from this partnership in particular? Yeah, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful partnership because uh, On Semiconductor brings this broad portfolio of multiple devices, each with these uh, different uh, capabilities, and Framus has this wonderful legacy of imaging history and partnership working with us and with image sensor suppliers, but also with uh, end customers. Uh, Framus has this wonderful background and this wonderful experience and technical support that they're able to provide, so they act as this beautiful conduit it for uh, us to be able to work with uh, Framos who can then work with the customers in Europe to provide the best high quality solutions for their applications. Imaging sensors are the base of all imaging systems. Yes. Um, what technical development do you expect for the next two years, let's say? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's very difficult to say that because it's always a moving target. It's always things are changing and we're looking and leveraging technologies across the board. Um, we're very excited about the resources that we have inside on Semiconductor because of our ability to leverage technologies from multiple market spaces. We have uh, uh, image sensors, businesses that are focused on automotive uh, imaging and on consumer and mobile imaging. And we have all of this inside and we have the ability to take and leverage back and forth uh, all of these technologies to provide the best products coming out. So we can leverage in CMOS technology, we can leverage things like uh, like pixel construction and uh, backside thinning and higher sensitivity and a broader dynamic range, regardless of where it's developed or what the original market is, is developed for, we can pull that and bring that in to bring the best products out. On a CCD side, we have you know, the same capabilities that we can take and work to provide the best products that we have with this long legacy uh, of devices that are there. When we go and talk to end customers, they're very clear. They're looking for more resolution. They're looking for more sensitivity. They're looking for higher performance. They're looking for lower cost. And, uh, and all of those things are different vectors regardless of whether it's CCD or CMOS technology that addresses it, it's all the same, uh, the same desires that the customers has. And we're excited about being able to take this pool of technology that we have to go to try to meet those needs. Yeah. Okay, but I think imaging technologies will be everywhere. Oh, yes. Because of the digitalization of the whole industry and consumer world. Too. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, 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 the imaging has exploded. And whether it is uh, industrial imaging, which is what we're doing yeah. here, or whether it's consumer imaging or Internet of Things, the idea of having images everywhere is now becoming ubiquitous. And uh, it really is a change that is happening within the entire society, both yeah, from an true. imaging uh, perspective, but also from a connectivity perspective. It's not just being able to capture the image, but it's the infrastructure that needs to be in place yeah. throughout to be able to get the image from A to B to C, and then the processing that needs to be in place to be able to work and manipulate and to manage those images, whether it's an image of, of me on vacation someplace in Europe, or whether it's an image of a bottle going through an assembly line. It's all very much the same thing. And as the technology advances, whether it's the, the, the bandwidth of the connection or the interface, or whether it's the storage or the process, it's all the same. It's, these are all enabling this experience explosion of imaging throughout the world.
Thank you. My pleasure. It's wonderful to be here. I appreciate it.